Hey guys, so I'm finally going to be doing a reptile room tour. Um, I was going to wait because I don't have all of the stuff that I wanted to completely remake all the cages yet, but um, I just figured it's going to be quite a bit too long um, from now to get all that stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Um, so over here first is my desk, and I just completely remade my room, so quite a few things are different. Um, over here, I have a candle, an incense burner, um, a couple of plants that I don't have cages to put in. Um, I have Yuke, my uh, mountain horn dragon, his cage right here. And I believe it is a 12 wide by 18 long by 20 inches high. Um, and that's the cage that he's going to be living in for the rest of his life. Um, so, obviously there he is right there. He has a UVB, but he doesn't have a heat because he's that, these guys just don't really like heat. Um, so I just didn't bother. Um, he has some kind of European fern right there that I got at Walmart. Um, I hate it. It's already dying. I got it three days ago. Um, and I'm just going to throw it out um, soon enough and replace it with um, another type of uh, fake plant. Um, and then right here, his substrate is sheet moss, and a little bit of reindeer moss, and uh, green moss. And then right here is, um, I think they're called midnight clovers. And then a ridge hide. Um, I'm going to put a plant in there whenever I get another plant to replace the fern. And um, I'm going to put it down in there. And then he has a stick holding it up, and a grapewood vine running along his cage. And then over here, I have another plant that used to be over there where my backpack is, but I arranged my room, and uh, Vladimir, my Cuban knight, Hanul, is over here hiding from me. Can't see him very well, but I'm letting him roam around, and whenever I do, I let him um, climb on that plant. And then I just have some supplies down there. And over here is his cage. It is a uh, two-foot long, two-foot high and 18 inches wide and it's made out of glass I made it in probably a day it didn't take very long at all um, he has glass channels right here two sliding glass doors with the handles on obviously and then um, his cage is just red cedar bark mixed in with um, I think it's New Zealand moss and then he has the same European fern again it's dying and I'm just completely done with uh, real plants so like I said I'm going to be getting some fake plants and then he also has a grapewood vine he has some kind of um, aquarium uh, driftwood thing and then he has a tree trunk hide that I just use as his water bowl which obviously it's empty right now and then over here is my savannah monitor bow this cage we have focus there he is and his cage is just simple. He has a little hide that he tore down and a basking spot. And there are his lights. And then over here is my hatchling Chinese water dragon Separance cage. And I really like his cage. I just got done remodeling it. He has a tree house right there, which he's in right now. Um, he has a, uh, I forgot what kind of branch it's called. It's some type of bird perch holding it up. And then he has another tree house down on the bottom. And I have a um, burlap uh, cover over these bars, and there is his food bowl right there. And there is his water bowl with a ridge hide in it, and um, he goes up there to bask sometimes. And then right there is a regular rodent hide that he sometimes gets on top of, and then there's another bird perch. And then up here is my bearded dragon's cage, and it just has contact paper for the... Uh, for the substrate, and he has his basking spot right there, and he has a little uh, cork round right there. He's very nice. And then down here on this little rack part, um, I just cleaned out her cage and I haven't got new substrate in here, but this is my new um, German giant leatherback bearded dragon, a female named Sapionis. And yeah. Her cage is pretty simple. She has a mercury vapor vapor bulb, sorry, right there. And um, her basking spot. And then she doesn't have any of the other 
of her furniture in there because, like I said, I'm cleaning it. And then over here I have my crickets, right here. And then up here is my Dubia Roach Colony. And that is pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any video uh, suggestions for me to make, uh, you can comment that and I'll probably do them. And um, last but not least, um, she's hiding, so not really a big important showing her, but that this is my TU Nymphs cage. And she doesn't have substrate because um, it was not holding humidity at all. And so I just threw it out, and I'm waiting to get some more in the mail. It should probably be here in about a week, and I may or may not do a video when I get it. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, comment any video suggestions.